Hello and welcome to my channel, DIY with Aurea. And today is all about winter DIYs. I'm going to talk to you about that a little later, but now let me show you what I am going to be creating with this tissue. I'm gonna be cutting a piece of this just to size, only because I'm gonna be putting it inside this white frame that you see under the tissue. And this frame, I purchased it, oh my God, maybe five, six years ago at a Goodwill and I think I pay one dollar for it. I purchased, I believe it was three of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this part back here and then I'm gonna be placing the tissue right inside. And look at how beautiful it's turning out. These are beautiful. And because this is a winter collab, I am going to come in with this beautiful snowflake. I'm going to take this wood bead and I'm going to be placing it right in the middle. Why? Because we're going to take that snowflake and we are going to be gluing it on top of that wooden bead with more hot glue. Now that this is put in place, I'll add another wood bead on top of that one. And then of course, I will be adding a second snowflake along with this wood bead as well. So a little bit more hot glue, place it right on top of the snowflake. And then the other snowflake with some more hot glue, we are going to be placing it right on top. I also have a little diamond from the dollar store and I am gonna be placing it right on top of this snowflake. And you're gonna have to let me know what you think so far of this beautiful picture i am loving this this looks so nice and classy look at this how gorgeous but i am not done yet i'm gonna come in with these rubber stickers and i am going to be placing let it snow And we are almost done. Look at how gorgeous this turned out. I also have a little small snowflake. I will be incorporating it and this will be it. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts. I am loving this. Let's talk about this open collaboration. This takes place every third Saturday of each month and it is being hosted by myself, DIY with Aurea, along with Ray, One Way Designs 238, and Loli, Loli D's Creations. Every month we have a guest host and this month is Kendra, Late Night Creations. On this collaboration, we have to create minimum of two winter DIYs. I'm gonna be leaving the links to their channels all the way down in my description box along with a playlist please make sure to visit every single one of them so like that you can get more ideas of winter diy's inspirations i went to the thrift store and they had 75 percent off on christmas ornaments and anything that was christmas i purchased this for 25 cents i'm going to take it outside and spray it with this rustolian satin white paint Several hours passed by and now we are ready to go ahead and paint this. I'm going to paint both of the hats with black chalk paint. I'm also going to be giving them some eyes. I'm going to be painting their little uh, nose in orange and the scarf will be in the color metallic silver. And I'm keeping these colors uniform because they do match my decor. 
My dear friends, if you relish budget-friendly seasonal decor collaborations and thrift flips that won't break your bank, then you're in the perfect place. Be sure to subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell button. That way, every time I upload a new video, you will promptly be notified. I'm also going to be leaving a mega playlist down in my description box in case you decide that you want to know how I created any of these DIYs. DIYs. And I cannot believe that I found this at a thrift store for 25 cents. This is so beautiful. And all I did was added some battery operated tea lights in the back opening, of course, because this is for a candle and it looks amazing. But of course, I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. It was nice and easy, nothing to it. Look at this beautiful tissue paper from the Dollar Tree. Isn't this gorgeous? Well, I'm going to be using the snowflake. I'm going to go ahead and use only a piece of it. I'm going to be covering this round plaque. So I'm using some Mod Podge. I'm going to go ahead and spread it evenly and then I'm going to wait until it dries. Once it's dry completely, then I'll come back with the tissue paper. I'll put it on top and then with some parchment paper, I'll go ahead and start using my mini iron to activate the Mod Podge. So everything is nice and adhered. I'm just gonna go ahead and start removing the extra tissue paper. So now this is completely done. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the side. And this snow word, I'm gonna cover everything that's black with Serenity Blue chalk paint. I also want to remind you of the playlist that I am going to be leaving down in my description box. Make sure to go ahead and visit these talented creators. So this is nice and done. I'm going to come in now and give this bamboo ring one coat of white chalk paint. Now that everything is dry, I'm just going to go ahead and start assembling everything together. These wooden bees belong to a different project. They are left over, so I am going to be incorporating it in this beautiful sign with a little bit of hot glue. I'm also going to put a little bit of scotch tape, and now we have a hook to hang it on the wall. And this little wood round, I purchased a big package from Timu and they came all different sizes. I'm going to go ahead and give it one coat with white chalk paint. I'm going to help it dry with my heat gun. Look at how it's doing. I was like surprised. It was just like shaking. <laughs> I never saw that happen before. So I'm going to be adding this here to these wooden uh, beads. And also once I'm done, I'm going to start adding some greenery and a pretty bowl.
And look at how gorgeous this is turning out. I'm putting this humongous bell from Dollar Tree. They come a whole bunch of them in a package. And this is it. Please let me know in the comment section your thoughts. I am loving this beautiful plaque. So I'm going to tell you a little story about this bag. I went to the Dollar Tree to purchase some Fabuloso. So I spotted this beautiful bag. And guess what? I came home with the bag, but no Fabuloso. Mm -hmm. So I had to go right back to the Dollar Tree and go get that Fabuloso. How many of you guys have gone to the Dollar Store and have bought everything else in the store except the items that you went for? Leave it in the comment sections because I am, oh my God, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to tell me. I'm just hoping that I'm not the only one that does this. I do this all the time. Seriously, I'm like, okay, this time I'm not going to buy nothing else, just what I'm going for. Yeah, right. Okay, enough of that conversation. Let's get back to crafting here. So I took this thick glue and I'm gonna be giving it one entire coat to this entire board. I got these boards from a shelf that they uh, did not need anymore at my job. So I took about, I don't know, I think they were like a good 15 boards. They're pretty sturdy. So now that this is already cut to size, meaning the bag, I'm gonna be placing it right on top of this board. I'm also going to be using these four bamboo sticks and with this acrylic paint from Martha Stewart I'm going to be giving it one coat to all four pieces. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut them to size and start placing them on all the corners. And with the same satin acrylic paint from Martha Stewart, I'm going to be giving one coat to both of these reindeer. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling these beautiful reindeers right up here. I'm going to put one on either side. And this is already looking so beautiful. Look at that. I love the colors. I love the gray that came together with the white. This is beautiful. I also have some greenery. That's, this is a leftover greenery. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right on top. And I'm also coming in with a beautiful bow. Once in place, I also added a glittery snowflake in the middle of the bow. And then I turned it around and I added some chew cord. And this is it for this beautiful picture frame. I am loving this. But I would love to hear what you think about it in the comment section. Which one do you like so far from all of these DIYs? I also purchased these glass at the thrift store for 10 cents. I wish they would have had six, but they only have five. I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint them with this white spray paint from Rustolia, and I'll give it one coat. And they are all dry. These came out so pretty. I'm gonna be using some hot glue and I'm gonna be creating some candle holders. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue two together, one on top of the other, and I'm gonna do a set of two.
also going to be creating two different bowls and I'm going to be adding also some greenery. And remember that this is part of an open collaboration. It takes place every third Saturday of each month. And if you are a creator and you would like to join us, make sure to IG us and we will add you. And a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for being part of this channel. Your presence is truly valued and appreciated. So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing to the next candle holder. I was very lucky to have found these glasses. These are so gorgeous. And after I painted them in white, I even like them better. Now I have the set already done. I'm coming in with this red candle. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue down here in the bottom so I can make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to both of them. I'm going to go ahead and show you the final review in a few seconds. I have another project that I am going to be also showing you that is part of this set. I also have this little mini wreath and this little cup that was left over. I'm just going to go ahead and insert this here with a little bit of hot glue. And then I have a white candle that I'm going to be putting right on the bottom of the glass. But before I do that, let me go ahead and add a little bit of ribbon right here. And this is it. This is completely it. This was nice and simple to create and I am totally in love with this little piece. Gorgeous. I have this cylinder and of course you can find this at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and paint it with acrylic red paint in the inside. So now with this brush, I'm going to make sure that the whole cylinder in the inside is completely covered. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it two coats. Now when you're going to give the, uh, the second coat, you got to make sure that everything is nice and dry and you cannot go over the paint twice. Other than that, you'll be lifting the first coat off. And this is it. Look how cute. Now, I also have this candle holder that I'm recycling. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a light coat with white chalk paint. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and use plenty of hot glue. And these two pieces are going to go together. I also have two of these snowflakes and with some hot glue, I'm going to be gluing them on the cylinder. Well, my dear friends, thank you for joining me on this creative journey as we have reached the conclusion of this video. Share your favorite DIYs in the comment section. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next one. And here is the final reveal.